You know, she said to me, you know, she said to me, I grew up in Lebanon as a little girl, and there I watched TV, and I saw cartoons, and then a minute after, a Hezbollah commercial. Then I saw Tom and Jerry, yeah, running one after the other. And then I saw an Israeli soldier being executed or kidnapped. And that's how I grew up. I grew up to hate you. In fact, I was raised to kill you. But then I heard your music, and I thought, the person that composed this is not that bad. It can't be. And now, she is a fan. Meet Johanna Najla, and today she's much more than a fan. She actually performs with us on stage. She's our belly dancer, coming with us on stage, enemies singing and dancing together. Johanna was so proud, proud of her country that she went with the Lebanese flag, but her country didn't like that too much, and they deprived her from coming back to her homeland. And moreover than that, the Hezbollah apparently issued a death warrant on her head. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Ever since I made my first steps into this world, <laughs> I was surrounded with music. My father comes from a family of 10 brothers and sisters. <laughs> Grandpa, come on. <laughs> and each of them are playing an instrument or singing something. And naturally, you would think it will happen to me. And indeed, I became an algorithm expert for Microsoft. <laughs> <laughs> Working for 10 years, getting to executive positions, but I uh, sold my Ferrari for a mandolin, and I began to take the guitar. And that has changed my life. I began to fuse Middle Eastern instruments, traditional instruments with rock and heavy metal, and Arabic music, with modern Western rock and roll music. And million, nothing prepared me for the fact that millions of Arab fans, Muslim fans, will like this later on. There was just one problem that you don't have and I have. I was born in the wrong place. Really wise career move, to leave an executive job in Microsoft to play for fans that will never be able to come and see your show. But they proved me wrong. They come, thousands of them, millions, more than a million downloaded the music from Arab, Arab countries, and thousands come to see me in Europe, from Iran, Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, Bahrain, Qatar, Kuwait, Dubai, Saudi, all coming to share their joy for music, to see a Jewish, Israeli artist perform. And even a, one Egyptian fan got arrested and thrown to jail for six months just for listening to the music he loves. So you'd say, a death warrant by Hezbollah organization, thrown to jail for the music you love? There has to be some end to this phenomena. Well, think again. Dozens of Muslim fans tattoo permanently on their bodies Jewish symbols, the logos and symbols of my band, of my music group. And in an age where bad news travel fast, and everywhere we read about the Iranian nuclear threat and stuff like that, who gives an F <laughs> about bridging between nations with music? Well, millions. And I don't think music can change the world. But I do think that the single most powerful universal language of us all, music, combined with social networks, and what technology today enables us, like we all spoke about. I know it's giving a chance for the first time in human history to rise to their greater part, for a real chance of coexistence between the nations. And when one change agent does that, you can overlook this and go back to your home and forget about this lecture. But when 100,000 do that, this cannot be overlooked. This is, ladies and gentlemen, Enemies singing and dancing together. Nations choosing what they want, not what they're being told through the media. I have many more to share with you. But before I bid you farewell, I want to show you a short video of a song played in live, both on the video and myself. 
And when you see this video, I want you to remember that what you're seeing is an Israeli band, Jewish artist, with a Lebanese Muslim girl singing, dancing together in front of 100,000 people. It's an Egyptian song originally, Samra Ya Samra. And we took the lyrics and put them in Hebrew to an old uh, Hebrew words. And that's how it sounds like. Okay. No, Gez Avram and it's a Tifar, Behold the man, Azorel and Noah, Gez Avram and it's a Tifar, Tail Kaino, Tenetora, Noah, 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 and is a big Thank you.